Hey Physique Freaks, how's it going? Coach Scott here, and today I've got a great bicep workout to share with you. When it comes to training the biceps, I absolutely love hitting them from all angles to ensure that not a single muscle fiber goes untouched. So now what you can do here is, first of all, vary your grip. So you can either use a reverse grip, a neutral or hammer style grip, or you can come completely supinated. A lot of times with a straight bar or even, even just supinating with those dumbbells. The other thing that you can do is vary the angle of flexion, extension at the shoulder. So you can either do a, a preacher curl or you can lie down an incline bench and have the shoulders completely extended doing an incline double bicep curl. And today's bicep workout includes all of those angles, all of those grips variations, and it's just absolutely killer. So let's get to that footage, enjoy this workout. And we're gonna kick things off with some shoulder flexion as well as a reverse grip by performing the reverse curl on a preacher bench. Now, this movement is definitely gonna hit the forearms quite a bit, but it's also gonna work the brachialis, that muscle that you can see popping out the side of my arms there, especially in the stretched position. It's one of my favorite muscles to train, as I find it creates that 3D effect to your upper arm there. It really, really brings out the finer details, making it look full, chiseled, and aesthetic. So with this movement, I prefer to go in the higher rep range, like around 12 to 15 reps. Any heavier than that, um, I find it tends to bother my elbow. So we're going to do three sets there, 12 to 15 reps, then move on to the straight bar bicep curl. So here we got that supinated grip, palms facing up, and your arms are straight at your side. So there's no shoulder flexion or extension. And this anywhere, I really prefer to, to hit this movement in the eight to 10 rep range. I really like giving it everything that I've got. And uh, again, this is gonna work the overall biceps as a whole. You're gonna hit both heads along and the short head of the bicep here. And uh, really make sure that you're getting that full stretch in the bottom, keeping the tension on your biceps all the way through. This is my final set here. So giving it everything that I got, really like to save the best uh, best set for last. So last set, best set is what I like to do uh, with the barbell curl. And then the uh, final exercise for the biceps is going to be the incline hammer curl. So here the shoulder is in extension and you're going with a neutral grip. So palms are facing each other. So all three exercises, we've, we've utilized all the different grips. We've gone from the reverse grip uh, to a straight normal supinated grip and now a neutral grip with the palms facing each other and this any you typically anywhere between the 8 and 12 rep range what i did here to really take it to the next level is the third set performed an extended rest pause set so going for the the 8 to 12 reps that we were normally hitting for the first three sets and um, so this is the third set here uh, but as soon as i complete those eight to 12 repetitions. I'm just gonna rest for five to 10 seconds at the most, do as many more reps as I can, rest for five to 10 seconds at the most, do as many more reps as I can, keep going until I get those just single reps and even partial reps at the end, just absolutely burning it out. So safely taking that muscle beyond the point of momentary muscular failure. So just when you think you're done, when you think you're all fatigued and everything, you just take a short, tiny little break, give it some more. Short, tiny little break, give it some more. So again, want to make sure that your form is not sloppy. You don't want to be thrusting this uh, the dumbbells up when uh, like with all the supporting muscle groups. You still want to keep that tension and focus on the biceps. So trying not to engage the front delts too much here or, or not trying to use any kind of momentum. Just trying to work those biceps and give it everything that I've got. One of my favorite techniques to just to just burn that muscle at taking it safely beyond the point of momentary muscular failure. Big pump. So to give you an idea of how I'm incorporating this bicep workout into my overall training plan this month, I'm performing it midweek along with shoulders and arms. So I have a dedicated shoulder and arm day in my training where the biceps are absolutely getting punished and causing a significant growth response. I'm also training back twice a week. So during those workouts, the biceps are getting prodded. They're just getting stimulated enough to, to kind of help speed up recovery as well as signal that growth response for the biceps. So that's kind of the approach that I'm taking uh, this month, last month, and the month to come when it comes to training biceps. And then I'm gonna completely change up my split routine and uh, challenge the arms in a different way to, to spark that growth and keep 
the momentum rolling, keep the progress going. If you enjoyed this tip, we'd love to hear from you. Share a comment down below. Let me know if you picked up on anything. Let me know if you give this workout a try. Uh, as well, if you enjoyed this workout, hit that like button, please. I'd greatly appreciate it. It really helps the channel out and um, really boost those videos up and really brings in a lot more like-minded um, subscribers like yourself, like me, where we can really build each other up in this community. If you want to hear more um, tips and tricks like this, uh, see more workout and training footage, of course, subscribe to the channel nice little bugs buzzing around me here um, that's the best way hit that alert button so you get notified uh, as soon as I publish a video that way we can communicate share this journey share this experience together hope you appreciated this footage hope you found it useful and I will catch you in the next video